because I was like, I need to figure out why it's just so hard to find time. Okay, so it will stop talking for a moment because I want to make a video. If you want to keep working, you can keep working. Although I would advise the entire room to watch for at least a few minutes. Uh, I keep having people ask me questions about this. And uh, my concern is not about this problem, of course. It's about the fact that you're asking, which means there are fundamentals you are not remembering or not understanding. And those fundamentals will show up not on one or two test problems, but more like seven or eight. And you miss eight problems on the test and your score plummets to 73. So anyway, 76, I guess. Here we go. Uh, it says it wants an equation of line tangent. Every single one of you needs to develop a habit. I guarantee if you will develop this habit today, it will pay off big on the AP test. You read a problem and the problem says anything about a line tangent, anything. Draw my picture and you'll discover that even though you use the picture in different ways, just getting the picture in front of you will help you get through a lot of future problems. So I draw like so. Okay, so I start there. Now I would pay someone one full ticket if they can raise their hand, volunteer to start labeling things. I'll stop you when I feel like you've labeled sufficient to earn a full ticket. Just talking through it? I just want to label. Like really, so like one pause, just one pause. What, I, what I'm trying to get each of you to do is you all have this terrible habit that you have developed over 12 years of school where someone gives you a problem, and it's like I said to Caleb, it's like you're playing checkers. You know that this piece goes here, and this piece goes here, and these two swap places, and then you get a result, and it matches the answer in the back, so you're like, oh, I did it right. But if I ask you what you found, you can't tell me. So the key is to get away from that and get to where, oh no, I know that this is this because, and I know how these fit together, and so all I want to do here is label things. Cool. So the point that you have drawn, is the point at one negative one. Pause right there for one second. Uh, it's not a hard question. I just want you to say it out loud for the video. How do you know that's the point one comma negative one? Uh, because that's where you decided it was, and that's where you have the line tangent going through. Because that's what you're trying to find. Right? Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, I just plopped it wherever, so that was random. What's crucial is you recognize, Dylan, that. This green line is supposed to be tangent to the curve at that point. That's what the reading tells you. You understand that well, it's perfect. So pause there. Someone else who'd like a full ticket, raise your hand. Let's go, Carly. Keep talking. Um, the blue curve is f of x equals x, and it comes to 1 minus 2 over 2 over x plus 1. Yeah. Um, let's pause there for a second. We know that's f because it says the line is tangent to f. Does anyone have trouble with that? Like, there's a big reason this is on the wall. Okay, it's not there because I just put everything on the wall. But no, if you look at the room, it's kind of strategic how I place things. Okay. Um. So that's f. Uh. Everybody, Harley's going to say it. If you don't understand it, make sure you raise your hand so we can talk about it. When you see an equation like that, Carly, what should be running through your head? Like, what does the equation mean? Um, it means like the relation of the x and y on f of x. Like, if I have an x, I probably have a y and stuff. I don't know if that's where you're going. That's exactly where I'm going. No, and that's exactly what you need to do. Is you, you all need to see that equation and not just say, oh, great, an equation. Your brain should be going, wait a minute, that's a list. That equation is a list. And as Carly said, I can choose any x I want, plug it into the equation, and I can find the y that goes with it. Don't forget, you can do the opposite. You can choose a y and say, let's go see if there's an x that goes with it. So there's an infinite number of x, y's here. I wonder if anybody's ever thought of this. There's an infinite number of x, y's here. There's no way to write them all down. 
So I actually think it's very amazing that somebody long ago came up with the idea of, hey look, how clever. This little equation is an infinite list. Like it's literally an infinite list. But it's only one tiny equation. It's like a perfect representation of, wow, I just wrote an infinite number of things in a very compact way. Okay? Question. So that's what f is. So we got all that. Take it for Carly. There's more that belongs in the picture. Sam? Um, the green line is the, the line tangent to the graph. So the green line is the line that is tangent. Okay. I'm giving Sam a ticket. We're moving on to the next person. Because I asked everyone to learn to be more specific. That was perfectly specific. He said the green is the line that is tangent to f at the point 1 comma negative 1. It's not really proper to say it's the line that's tangent to f because there's an infinite number of lines tangent to f. So he's very specific to identify exactly the line. And the line tangent to the graph of f at 1 negative 1 can be represented by y equals m in parentheses x minus x1 and parentheses plus y1. Okay, whenever my excitement rises, my desire to pass out tickets goes with it. Okay, perfect. Now I have a true false question for all of you. Uh, this is worth five tally marks, you can mark them down. Just true false. Yeah, I can't make it. Ah, damn, that's such a good question. Um, there's something about this that you must remember. A couple of things. Take it for Caleb. Somebody else hasn't earned a ticket yet. Like when you see that equation, you've got to be thinking stuff. You can't just be going, well, Mr. Smith gave it to me, so I guess I need it. It's like, what does it mean? Okay. Um, we have to find the slope, right? Because that's what it means. Let's keep talking. You're, you're exactly on the right track. You are exactly on the right track. Um, one thing I would need you all to remember is, Avery's going to talk to me for a minute and earn a ticket. Is this... Okay, this equation here, the blue, is exclusively the equation for finding all those xy pairs on the blue. Is this green equation, Avery, exclusive to the green line? No. Keep talking, it's perfect. It's, um, it's a 30 degree. So I'm trying to figure out how to You're fine, just talk, it's fine. Um, it's not because it also is the tangent of um, not quite. Let me just say something back to you. You're okay. What I was hoping you would say, what you said was fine, but what I was hoping you would say is this. I can use this pattern, this pattern here, oops. I can use this pattern to create an equation for the green line. But I could also use that pattern to create an equation for, say, this purple line. That gets the same pattern. The curve is a unique pattern defined by this equation. All lines can be defined by that equation. So it's crucial that, you know, that none of you get stuck in your head that this is the equation for a tangent line. It isn't. It's the equation for any line. We're just using it to write the equation of a tangent one. Does that make sense? Keep talking with me, Avery. What makes this equation work? Like, how do I make this equation work for the green, but also the purple? Like, what do I do different to make sure that this same equation can work for both? Well, you plug in different numbers, right? Like, just plug in different points. Perfect. Perfect. So, I'm trying to do the green. So, what do I plug in to make it the green? And then I still need to find the slope of the green. This blue one over, this purple one over here, we'll just pretend that this point right here is 2 comma, I don't know, 
add two, that's done three. So by writing the equation of this line, Avery, what would I write? Pause for questions. Like it has to make sense. You cannot watch me manipulate and just memorize my manipulation. It won't work. Question. Awesome. Jake, question. But doesn't that kind of still not represent it if you don't have the slope? Perfect. 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 This equation is not very useful until we know the slope of the green line. Similarly, the purple equation really isn't that useful until we know the slope of the purple one. But what I wanted to make a big point of, because I see people struggling with it, is those are different lines, but they still follow the same pattern because they are lines. We good? So, how do I find M? Somebody needs a ticket. So we're dealing. We have to find the derivative of the so I'm going to find the derivative of f. So f prime is going to be, so I use the product rule. So it's 1 minus 2x cubed multiplied by the derivative of x plus x. Now the derivative of the 1 minus 2x cubed is going to be 3. 1 minus 2x squared multiplied by derivative of 1 minus 2x. And then I get this. So I'm hurrying a little bit because of the time. This derivative here is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 times 3, that's going to be minus 6x. So that's my f prime. What do I do now, Dylan? So when I do this, without showing you all the details, you're going to get negative 7. What does that mean, Dylan? Um, it means that you have to complete uh, the equation. Oh, true. No, no, my bad. Sorry. What does that mean? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, by itself, what oh. does that mean? Um, well, that's showing you the tangent slope at x equals 1 on the graph. Perfect. That's worth the ticket. That is showing us the tangent slope at x equal 1 on the graph of that. Somebody else would like a full ticket. What else in this picture? has a slope of negative 7. Like he just said, the graph of f at x equal 1 has a slope of negative 7. What else in the picture has a slope of negative 7? It hasn't earned a ticket yet. Mike? Well, uh, well, so the slope of the line tangent to f at x equal 1 will have exactly the same slope as f itself at x equal 1 so now we know a 7 belongs right here. Sorry, negative 7. And then if you simply distribute, you get their answer. Yeah. We're going to do 16 in a second. Questions on this? Anything? Drew, I don't know if that helps. Okay, cool. Let me stop this. Let's do 16. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Isaac. Negative 7. Thank you. 